All right, let me get everything straight, YouTube. What up, YouTube? Yo, I seen this video, and as soon as I seen the video, I knew I had to comment on it. Let me move this over a little bit. I knew I had to comment on it. And the reason why I knew I had to comment on it because I got experience working at this company. So what we're going to do is we're going to react to a video that uh, – it's put up by uh, Spill. If you want to see the whole video, go over to uh, Spill's YouTube channel and give them the credit that they deserve. Uh, but seriously, like, how can I put this? This, this? this right here is just ridiculous. So basically what they're doing is they said that uh, the video is about a war... Uh, Walmart employee, I almost say woke employee, who basically supposed to be exposing Walmart uh, through TikTok. Oh my God, that's so good. And it's going viral. I'm going to tell you like this. I want y'all to share this video with as many people as y'all can as possible because I used to work at Walmart for six years. First of all, I know they're one of the most racist companies to work for, bar none. Let's just go ahead and be honest on that front. And second of all, I know for a fact that the price increase that Walmart's doing, it's not due to theft. Let's go ahead and explain it to you, all right? Let's go ahead and play this video. Compulsion or necessity that in recent years has morphed into something new. Whether it's an Apple store ransacked for $35,000 worth of products in Silicon Valley, 20 tons of chocolate loaded into a refrigerated trailer in Germany, or uncanny amounts of cheese nabbed twice in one year from Wisconsin. Let's, let's this new breed of shoplifter appears to be just as unfazed by the law as they are by stereotypes. But of course, not every shoplifting expedition is a 77-year-old man pulling off a $300,000 Beanie Baby heist. Why? Or criminals dressed in drag robbing a Harry Winston out of $108 million in jewelry. No, these days, shoplifting is an yes. equal opportunity sport that can entice customers from all walks of life to cram their baskets or carts in their own personal game of supermarket sweeps. Every shopper has his own strategy. And I'm going to put it like this. One thing I do like is the fact that she said from all walks of life. You have a lot of people on the news trying to make it seem like it's only black people who are shoplifting. I can tell you from personal experience, I worked at six Walmarts in six years, and in white neighborhoods, just as much stealing goes on as in black neighborhoods. But the only Walmarts that are closing down is in black neighborhoods. I've literally seen, matter of fact, let me tell you a story real quick. I had a manager, I'm not going to say any names, but I had a manager who had friends who, and the manager's white, who would come in and have his friends steal items like grab items and walk straight out the front door with him one time this dude walked out with three tvs he he literally had walked in the store grab a cart walk straight to the back grab the tv it was like a 75 inch tv and walks right out the front door i try to stop him i get in trouble for trying to stop him come to find out he's friends with the store manager the store manager had his friends would come in and steal items and then he would sell them on the side for a jacked up price online this is when i think around when ebay first came out when ebay first started getting big and he would sell these items for a jacked up price this dude was stealing so much that he literally was having a half a million dollar mansion being built from the ground up seriously i think no no it was a hundred thousand dollar mansion i'm tripping i don't know why i got half a yeah, it was a $100,000 mansion he had being built from the ground up. This is down south, so $100,000 mansion is pretty huge, especially back in, like, the late 2000s, the mid to late 2000s. Like, everything was, like, super cheap back then. But, yeah, his friend would come in, steal several TVs, walk right out the door with him. Chef wants to start his sweep with Farmer John Ham. Or influence shoppers to engage with the crime on a more casual level. After all, with a wealth of shoplifting hacks circulating online, the occasional five finger discount has become more normalized than ever. But customers might want to think twice before they take part in the trend that left shelves scant. Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now, the shoplifting is so crazy to the point that when you've seen that, uh, Muffin, there's like when you go in Walmart, there's literally 
half-eaten items. And here's the dumb thing. Ever since the shoplifting started to get super crazy, Walmart stopped putting safety shields, uh, safety seals on their products. I used to get the, what is it, cherry, strawberry, cinnamon rolls, and they used to have the safety seal on there, right? They don't have them on there anymore, which is weird. Because why would you stop putting safety seals on your items when shoplifting increases? Because when it comes to scanning <clears throat> premium priced items for Pringles prices at the self checkout, or undermining loss prevention measures. Yeah. Yo, I had a lot of my Caucasian friends, I'm not gonna say their names, who usually used to brag about this method. And what they do is they take a lower price item and they cover the barcode of the higher price item and they scan the product. And then some of my you know, African-American friends, they start doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? And the, so, yeah, that that's that's crazy. That that's crazy to me. That's that's crazy. But yeah, that's what he said. He used to brag about that all the time. And then some of my African A friends start doing the same thing. It's like, oh, oh, that's a good method. That works. Got you. I got you on camera. You on candy camera now. As scare tactics or challenges that require creative solutions, even thieves who feel they're above the law can find themselves facing serious legal consequences. And while most recent innovations in retail might make customers feel more inclined to pocket a freebie here or there, somebody's always watching. At self-checkout, it's easy for shoppers to feel alone. The method for scanning items that was meant to Walmart and see yourself on a User claimed that not only did new security technology prevent theft, at least one Walmart location put shoplifters on display. Walmart has these new cameras. Yeah, so let me tell you about that. That method, I think, is very, very stupid because it really doesn't work 100%. Say, for instance, I can go through and try to scan an item, right? I'll just take it across and then get the barcode the first time. I'm like, okay, I didn't hear the beep. Cause usually I'm scanning so fast, I listen to the beep to let me know that it's scanned. If I don't hear the beep, I'm like, oh, it didn't scan. I'll try to go ahead and rescan it and you know, look at the screen. Before I can even go back to rescan it, just the motion of it going over, they automatically put you on blast to make it look like you're stealing when all it is is a missed scan by accident and it don't even give you enough time to actually try to rescan the item. Usually, it's like, oh, miss scan. Let me go ahead and rescan it. Most stores, I can go ahead and do that as, oh, miss, I missed the scan. Let me go ahead and rescan it. And it lets me rescan it. No, certain Walmarts, as soon as you miss that scan, less than a second, boom, you put on blast. Oh, you're trying to steal. No. Your machine needs to be clean. You got all these workers standing up front, sitting there talking to each other instead of cleaning off the self-checkouts like they're supposed to. Self-checkouts be having grease and grime on them, be having weird substances on them. They need to be clean. They be dirty. They don't properly let you scan. You know what I'm saying? And so do you do have missed scans. And the missed scans, it would, it would confuse you as stealing. And really, you're not even really stealing. What about the cashier? It's just a missed scan. One thing goes wrong, and your face pops up on these screens. The slightest hand movement that looks like you're stealing, that camera catches it and then it puts it on the screen. But even without the public shaming, self-checkout isn't as private as it appears. We can see everything you scan, so you guys are not sneaky. If you go in there and scan your stuff, and it appears <coughs> you're scanning an item, the self-checkout attendant has to come and review the camera footage on your register. They're gonna review it and see if you stole something. <laughs> and while the comment section oh, on a since deleted funny. TikTok but. from a Walmart employee suggested that shoppers were skeptical over how actively Walmart employees monitored these devices. LOL, they don't even be looking at the handheld. They be running their mouth in the corner while I'm All right, let's go ahead and check out From the time to time. Well, <clears throat> this may be true. President if and CEO. But is this degree of surveillance really necessary? Surely, the largest private employer in America isn't going to fold because of an unscanned item from time to time. 
Well, this may be true if shoplifting were just a minor issue for the company. However, the level of theft that Walmart now, this has is recently just been stupid. hit with isn't just small potatoes. It's a full-blown epidemic. In December 2022, the Okay, so here's the thing. They still in clothes, right? You know, they're not stealing TVs or anything like that. But look at the type of clothes they're stealing. You know, it's just stealing Walmart, regular Walmart clothes. It looks like y'all trying to steal high-end items to either wear or resell. Retailer CEO Doug McMillan told CNBC that the latest uptick in shoplifting would require drastic action if law enforcement continued to exercise leniency on these crimes. If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher. Right. And or stores will close. However, raising prices or diminishing access wouldn't punish unpaying customers, but those who rely on the discounted merchandise Walmart Thank is you. known for. Exactly. Everything's gone up. Gasoline and taxes and food. In the world of retail. When everything goes up, what do you think is going to happen when people need something? And, and, and I'm going to tell you the Walmart scam. Right? I just want y'all to see all of this before I reveal to y'all the Walmart scam, the scam that Walmart's pulling. The term for what's happening is, is shrinkage sure when the items available in store are fewer than what's in inventory. In 2022, the National Retail Federation reported the average shrink rate across retailers was 1.4%. That's $94.5 billion in losses, almost $4 billion more than the previous year. Fox News correspondent Stuart Varney cited this recent upswing in shoplifting as a cultural shift in the way the American people viewed theft as not a crime, but a reclamation of what they were entitled to. If this is the new morality, you can count me out. However, his view on legislation. It's okay to take up to 950 bucks worth of necessities in California. That's just an invitation to steal. Wasn't entirely accurate. For example, mm -hmm. in California, shoplifting goods worth less than $950 is a misdemeanor, whereas stealing merchandise worth over that amount is classified as a felony. And according to some alleged ex- You see how the news be misconstruing shit in, in their own view and be lying? She basically called him out on this bull crap. Basically what he's saying is that he claiming that, oh, well, he invite people to steal to say that they can steal $950 worth of stuff. But yet she just put up the code for it and showed that, no, it's considered a misdemeanor and anything over the 950 would be considered a felony, which means stealing period is still a crime. Employees of big retailers, some locations are watching you more closely than others for a really long time. They will continue letting you steal all the while they're documenting the value amount of every single item that you're stealing and they will wait. They wait until you're thousands and thousands of dollars worth in debt. You know, federal crime level, in jail behind bars. They will do anything to do that. However, this doesn't mean there aren't consequences to petty theft. Both a misdemeanor and a felony can result in jail time. For a misdemeanor, this can be up to 364 days behind bars. And for a felony, this can be three years. And Just while it would be year. impossible <laughs> for law enforcement to prosecute like every in instance of petty theft, police presence was year. upped at Walmart locations they, in California to deter that theft year. during the 2022 holiday season. For thieves, the message is that we'll be out there. We're going to be vigilant. We know it's at time of the season which a lot of shoppers are out okay so let's just jump to the part i wanted to get is to. on display they showed a picture y'all of what you're seeing and so y'all gonna be putting the different tags on it's a wrap to machines flashing when shoppers miss scanning an item to taking the self in self checkout to a whole other level and you got to use these they don't even scan them no more alleged changes rolling out at walmart locations make it clear pleasing customers is no longer the company's biggest consideration and as walmart continues taking security to new extremes All right, this is Ken. Okay, Seriously, thanks. I don't know, Walmart, maybe you shouldn't have got Walmart, rid of your cashiers. On a Every time you go to Walmart, if you choose to use the self-checkout lane, you are risking your freedom. Other companies okay, have started engaging okay. in similar that practices. All of these stores now have cameras. They all have inventory, they all have software. 
with theft prevention carts that lock their wheels after exiting the store's perimeters, tying items in spider wraps that set off alarms when stolen, or keeping video games tethered to displays. There's an endless amount of ways to prevent theft, but the biggest or one you you've can... likely seen yes. is finding your Pretty everyday because. objects behind a glass wall. I asked the lady to give me the mascara out, and she did. So, 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 let, let's talk about this real quick. <clears throat> Why is it that <clears throat> everyday items they even showed a video that had chains, that had uh, washing, like actual washing powder and liquid with chains looped through it. So if these people are just stealing just to be stealing, why is it that items such as dishwashing liquid, soap, hair care products, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all this stuff is being locked up. So when we look at it, people are not mostly just stealing a super expensive items. People are taking what they need. Now, let me let me go ahead and and, and, and let me see what the rest of this video is about. Let me see what we talking about. I, I think it just goes a little bit talking about the shopping epidemic. We're just gonna put this up because oh wait, that's Mr. Beast right there. Nice. Um so so Companies so, so, claim they won't. So let's do this. Let's look at it this way. There, there's two reasons why this stealing is going on. One, because you got certain people who like to steal because they're lazy and they don't want to get a job. They don't want to go through the process to get a job. So it's like, yeah, let's go ahead and steal because I'm too lazy to get a freaking job. Then you got the other end where people want to work. <clears throat> but businesses don't want to give them the hours or pay to work. How do you expect somebody to maintain their standard of living when you don't want to pay them the right amount and when you want to cut their hours? Also on top of that, tenure, tenure sir, uh, 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 employees are not getting respected. They got employees who can come, like say for instance, you started at Walmart, right? I say back in the 90s. You started at five something an hour, right? Minimum wage keep increasing. Your pay don't increase with the minimum wage in certain instances. It doesn't. And even when it does, like say for instance, if I worked there in 95 for $5 an hour, minimum wage increased in 2000 up to $9 an hour. I will get, the only time I will see a raise is when that minimum, uh, minimum wage increases. Because Walmart rarely wants to pay its employees. It wants to get them 10 and 20 cent raises, which is stupid for a multi-billion dollar, well, trillion dollar company. If the family itself is worth almost half a trillion dollars, why is it that you can't afford to pay your employees a fair raise or give them fair raises? That 10 and 20 cent raise ain't doing nobody any good. That ain't, that, that's nothing. That's gone in gas. And even then, uh, because of their so-called inflation um, Products end up increasing Way more than the raise that you even get So you still broke Matter of fact, you're even worse condition than you was before So it's going to get to a point when your kids get hungry Your kids got to eat Regardless I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just telling the truth I'm putting it out there A man's willing to let himself starve He's like, you know, and you know to make it His kids ain't going to starve though his family ain't going to starve. Y'all better wake up. And then on top of that, you got it to where if the 2000s hit, let's say, for instance, that minimum wage does move up to $9.50. You're finally getting $9.50. Guess what? New people get hired for $11 an hour at that point. So now you're a tenure employee who's been with the company <clears throat> and got at least five years experience in, and they hire a new person with no experience. They automatically making $2 an hour more than you. And depending on how much butt they kiss, they can become assistant manager, even store manager with no experience. I've seen store managers with no experience get hired simply because they're white. I've been told straight to my face, I'm not even the right skin color to be a manager. I was told this straight to my face by Walmart. Why you think I don't work there anymore? Why you think that same <clears throat> store that pulled that bull crap, all the managers got fired? And I'm talking about all of them. And the funny thing is, that same store manager that had his friends stealing, he literally fired or demoted 
every last one of the non-white employees and replaced them with white people in their places right as a big F you to Walmart right before he got fired because he knew he was going to get fired. So he did as a big F you. That, that, <clears throat> that, that's the type of person this dude was. But anyways, so here, here's the scam that Walmart pulls on people. Walmart's claiming that it's losing money. Walmart's claiming that every single time somebody steals an item, it has to increase its prices, right? But at the same time, Walmart turns around, don't want to hire cashiers, want to replace them with machines. Half the time, the cashiers are just standing there. They don't clean the machines. They don't maintain anything unless the machine actually tells them to do something, right? So on top of that, <clears throat> they, they, they decrease their workforce across the board. And see, other companies start copying off. The reason why your job is bad, because it copied off the Walmart technique. Because, see, when I was working at Walmart, Walmart start cutting their workforce and paying people less and start seeing record profits. Well, of course, you're going to see record profits if you pay people less and cut people's hours. You're not forking out as much money to pay them. But Walmart was forcing people to do two and three times more work for less hours and less pay. What the hell makes you think that you're going to take somebody from 40 hours a week making $10 an hour down to 20 hours a week making $9.50 and then you expect them to do 60 hours worth of work? It's not going to work. It's not. It's not going to work. But because everybody thought Walmart was getting record profits, getting over half a trillion dollars, everybody started copying it. And that's why you see a lot of these stores not having so many people in it because everybody was copying Walmart's method to get super freaking rich, which is bull crap. Now, the funny part about it is, is that Walmart really wasn't making money. Walmart was actually losing money doing this. Because guess what? Employees stopped working. Employees stopped putting out product. So a lot of product that could have sold didn't get put out. There was a lot of strikes going on. There was a lot of people quitting because they weren't getting enough hours. And that's the reason why Walmart decided to raise paying you uh, now doing a start and pay at $16 an hour at most places. Even places where the minimum wage is $9 an hour. They say, hey, we'll pay you $16 an hour. Why? To come in there and do like the whole entire job worth the store. Here's my thing. When you start at Walmart, you used to get paid a certain amount of money to work in a certain department, and that was it. And you probably had like a secondary that you trained in. And when you train in that secondary, depending on what the secondary does, you can actually get an extra dollar and fifty per hour just being trained in a secondary area. Now Walmart wants you to train all over the entire store for the same amount of pay you would get working in one department. And they, now they have it as a requirement. They say, well, you have to be able to do everything, but we're still going to pay you the same. So you're doing 30 to $40 an hour worth of work for only $16 an hour. So people are getting mad at that too. So now you got it to where you have all these cashiers being replaced on the front end by machines, which is their goal anyways. Now, Walmart didn't think it was going to backfire on them when people realize, hey, I can steal because there's nobody watching me. And you only got like one person for like every five to six uh, self checkouts. And they can't be at five, to six checkouts at the same time. You can have groups in there, distraction. You can do all types of methods, which I'm not going to mention. But they didn't realize it's going to backfire. Now Walmart saying is, oh, we got to increase our prices because of stealing. Let me know why. Let, let me tell you why Walmart allows these people to steal walmart allows these people to steal because the more products get stolen from walmart the more they claim on their insurance now remember i tell you in all my videos evil does everything with a double-edged sword there's always two or more reasons why evil do things they never do anything for a single reason one reason is that <clears throat> they can use the excuse as theft to increase the prices on their products so they can price gouge. So say for instance, a lot of toilet paper is getting stolen. They're gonna let that toilet paper get stolen. It's like, oh, we're, we're losing money. We, we've got to increase the toilet paper by $2, $2 a pack. So it goes from costing $4 to $6, which is really unnecessary because they can stop people from stealing if they wanted to. 
by actually having actual cashiers up front. But they don't want to do that. They know they don't want to do that. The self-checkout is not for them to save money. The self-checkout is for them to actually make more money, but this time behind the scenes. <clears throat> now, on top of that, when that happens, and they use that as an excuse to price gals, Walmart has insurance. For every product that gets stolen, they can claim it against their insurance and get the money back. That means if Walmart stores lose a hundred million dollars, if a certain store loses, let's say, let's throw a number out there, 10 million, not a hundred million, that's too large. Let's say for instance, Walmart store so-and-so loses $10 million in products due to theft. They can claim that against their insurance, get that 10 million back. And then what they can do is when they file taxes, get accredited that 10 million. So basically they make like 20, I used to work at Marmar, so I know this. And they can't sue me for defamation of character because this actually happens. Walmart will have to prove that it doesn't happen, actually, which they can't because everybody who works at Walmart knows it actually happens, even access protection, which I used to work in. So Walmart can turn around and, and, and claim it on taxes, and they can get anywhere from like 20 to $30 million. So they get paid for you to steal. Not only that, they can use the excuse as theft to increase the prices. So now they're making quadruple the amount of money. That's why Walmart doesn't stop people from stealing. Walmart gets paid when people steal. Walmart gets paid a boatload of money when people steal. That's the reason why they're not stopping anybody from stealing. They can claim it against their insurance. They can use it as a reason to increase the price. And they can make hella profit from it. Hella profit. Now, here's another thing. Walmart doesn't want to have jobs in black communities. Now, remember, I said there's two or more reasons why evil does things. So, stealing happens in every community, right? Well, mostly black and white communities, right? I've rarely seen it happen in, like, Indian or... Asian communities. Um, <clears throat> not saying it doesn't. I just rarely seen that. But the thing is, are they taking them out of white neighborhoods? No, they're only taking them out of black neighborhoods. Why? Because when you take away the opportunity for people to work <clears throat> in black neighborhoods systematically, you end up helping destroy that neighborhood. So now that these people don't have places to work at, what are they going to do now? Remember, Walmart used to be the company that would come in and underprice, under jackknife its prices with local businesses and people stupid enough to actually shop there thinking that, oh, I'm going to save me some money. You should have sat there and support your local business, but you yourself, your own greed is what actually ended up destroying your community. Because let me tell you how. You can go have a local bread store. Bread is like seventy, like a dollar and fifty for the good bread. That really good bread, like a dollar fifty. Walmart comes in, undersells seventy five cents for some raggedy ass bread, right? But you don't care because it's cheaper, right? So you stop shopping at the bread store. Bread store closed down. That bread store easily the first to work, forced to work at Walmart and move somewhere else. Guess what? Once that bread store closed down, Walmart takes that seventy five cent loaf of bread and jacks it up to two twenty five. Now, when you couldn't be paying a dollar fifty for a loaf of fresh bread, you're now paying two. 75 for the same loaf of bread that was 75 cents and wasn't crap. But since there's no competition, Walmart can jack up their prices. Now, businesses actually started fighting back, and every single place a Walmart uh, was to post up, they would post a business up that would directly compete against Walmart as an alternative because people got, at that point got tired of Walmart being everywhere. But still, at the end of the day, it's the community's fault. It's not really Walmart. You can't blame rich people for doing rich things. It's your fault. You can't blame rich people for doing rich things. Of course they're going to do that. Of course they're going to jack. They can afford to drop their price and make sure the business is down. But see, here's the thing. If you had kept supporting the bread house, the bread house would still be there. You still begin fresh bread for the same price. Now you got to pay more for bread that's not that fresh. So that's that's part of our fault. We can't blame that all on Walmart. That's part of our fault because we allowed that to happen. We made that choice for it to happen.
But at the end of the day, Walmart's getting paid every time you steal. That's why Walmart's not stopping anybody from stealing. They get paid. They can claim it against their insurance. Not only have I seen this, I was told this by even co-managers. Walmart gets paid for you to steal. That's the reason why they're not stopping you from stealing. And they claim that, oh, well, we don't want to stop people. Dude, there was a time where we was allowed to actually stop people from stealing. Yeah, we was allowed to stop people from stealing. And if people got physical with you, you was allowed to get physical back with them. There was a time we was able to do that at Walmart. But then when we find out that it was store managers who was having a people come in to steal, we was told by store management we couldn't stop them. And I was like, why couldn't we stop them? To come and find out it was part of their crew. Oh, we're afraid of a lawsuit and this and that and this and that. Um, a person can't sue you committing to a criminal act unless they live in the state of California because California seemed to be one of them stupid states. Like, come on, let's get for real. Let's be for real. Walmart makes money off of you stealing. That's why they don't care about you stealing. Because the more you steal, the more they can claim it back. And then the higher they can rise, raise the prices. Just think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that. I'm not going to keep going because then I can't keep going. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So I, I want to just say one thing, y'all. Be safe while I smack y'all in the face. All right? And I'll see y'all next time.